Anjali here with the Think Tinkers. I also have with me Gustavo Leon, which is a great, fantastic artist and a good friend as well. And he's going to be sharing uh, his art with us today and a bit about what he does and how he's living a conscious lifestyle with his artwork. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for uh, allowing me to express my, uh, my thoughts and uh, my messages through the painting. So I thank you very much. Absolutely. So the Think Tankers, um, if you guys are not aware, uh, we are a group of people that uh, basically use thought to accelerate and expand our awareness in life and live a more conscious lifestyle. Uh, so Gustavo, what, what type of inspiration do you get for your artwork? Life itself, I guess, um, I get inspired to uh, people's behavior, what is uh, going on around the world. Uh, I think uh, I always try to express a message to create uh, awareness to my paintings, even if it is uh, amorphic with no form, but as we know that colors carry a vibration, so by people just looking at a painting with uh, colors, they feel related to that, uh, to those colors, it activates their aura field because they resonate with that vibration. So, and when it comes to uh, the world uh, situations uh, that uh, that I see people suffering, people that need love, and that's why I, I like the, 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 that song from uh, from uh, John Lennon. All we need is love because that's what we need is love and love. I can express it through the paintings. So uh, my goal is that uh, every time I do something, every time I paint an idea, which I, the way that I, that I channel that energy is uh, through, the, through the canvas and, and, and the paintings, is that uh, I try to create something that triggers um, uh, in, in, in people's not brain, but in their consciousness, uh, awareness. So if they see a painting with a message that uh, maybe can be a suffering child, you kind of trigger that uh, feeling of love. So when they get home, I mean, they're going to be thinking about it, you know? Yeah, maybe I should be a better person. Maybe I better stop complaining about life. Maybe I better start doing something for my community, for my kids, for my husband, for my wife, anybody, you know, it's just, that's the way that uh, I think uh, I, can, I can create consciousness um, to, to my art. Absolutely. So do you feel that your paintings are transcendental? Do you feel like they are multidimensional, they're expansive as far as your, this spirituality that you express in the paintings? Well, yes, I think so, because uh, every time that I, that I come up with an idea, it's just like, uh, like I was telling you before, I, I, I like to look at the black canvas and start uh, channeling all these images because I'll, automatically I see, I get bombarded with all these images and I see colors, I see shapes, I see people, animals, uh, environment, not related to a physical level, but more like a quantum level, spiritual level, uh, and I try to, uh, to, put, uh, to put that on, on the canvas. Say uh, Salvador Dali has a big influence on me. Uh, Giorgio de Chirico, Chagall, and, and Picasso have been more of the uh, biggest influence because they always try to express realism, something beyond the physical. You know, just like uh, it's not that I don't like another type of art, but I, I kind of like to challenge myself because I can paint a, a landscape. You know sceneries and 
but at the same time I want to take a message to the people that uh, uh, see my art and it's hard because a lot of people don't understand it and because they don't understand it they reject it they just don't want to you know uh, they just don't want to hang it in their living room because it doesn't match with the color of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it's horrible because I, I love it. Uh, I, I love to express those ideas through surrealism. It allows me to create a scene of a dreamlike, like monetic uh, environment with a real uh, message that is happening in, in life. And that creates awareness in people. And every artist has a different way of expressing right. their inner world. So would you say that that's what you're doing is basically expressing your inner dimensions? Yeah. When I paint, I don't try to focus on pleasing people, you know, because it's hard. It, it, well, it's nearly impossible nowadays, it, I will say. Yeah, because <laughs> then it's like I feel limited and I, and I cannot uh, create a, an original idea, uh, uh, a vision that I have because I'm trying to create uh, something that uh, uh, through information that people give me, so it's kind of hard to to be uh, original at that point, you know. <laughs> you know, it, it, it just depends on how people perceive things. But I find your artwork, as we see back here, um, to be quite beautiful, quite expressive. Last question here for the Think Tinkers. Um, what type of message would you tell the world about your art in general? Just the message that that you would like to portray as an artist. More, more. Uh, I think the message beyond my art. I think a personal message. I would really love to share is that uh, people need to become one start creating consciousness and start getting aware of their surroundings, value what we have, the people, and think about that uh, we all come from the same source. Uh, we all come from the same source that some, some, some of us don't really remember who we are. Uh, as the word says, remember, we need to remember back to the source. And, uh, and if it is through my art, I'm just trying to uh, take the message out there and, and try to make them think what is what is he trying to tell us through that pain, you know? And, and, and that maybe sometimes you don't even get contact with the person, but they take the, the message with them, you know, and just start searching and you might not even know and, and, and you probably change a person's life. And that creates a big, makes a big difference because then it's one more light to the world and to the whole universe. Exactly. All right. Beautifully spoken. Uh, so into the mind of Gustavo Leon, brilliant artist and good friend. And we thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you so much for the interview. Absolutely. And so his information, his link, his artwork will be on our website, thethinktinkers.com. Thank you for sharing.